everybody, today I am doing a 1940s inspired look using pillow rollers and an overnight wet set. So it's super easy, the only time consuming part is putting the rollers in, but the brush out is like the easiest thing ever. And this is a, gr a great style for short hair. I know you short hair babes are looking for more styles that you can do, so here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull my hair into sections and you don't want them to be too big about an inch is pretty good if they're too big they won't dry and if they're too small the curls will be way too tight so then I am going to spray them with this Cusco Murphy spray and I'm also I also have some water on my fingers that I'm just pulling through so my hair is actually dry right now and I'm just adding a little bit of water and the spray so then I'm going to wind the hair around the curler and just make sure if you have fangs or layers or any little spiky pieces that you get them all tucked underneath. If any of those little pieces stay spiky, then it will ruin your curls. So just be really, really, really careful about the ends. And then when I get to the end, I just twist them. These little pillow rollers have wires in them so they really stay in your hair really well. If you don't have the wires, you can always just tie the ends of them, but I find that the wires just help them um, to stay in there. So I'm just going to do this in same sized sections over my entire head, and I try to keep my rows as straight as possible so that when I brush the curls out, the curls lay all together. Okay, so to start, I am taking this scarf off of my head, and this is what they're gonna look like in the morning. You just want to take them out carefully. You just twist the little thingies, and it helps if you unroll them a little bit before you pull the hair out, especially where your hair gets a little bit longer. It's gonna help for them not to tangle. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through these curls just to separate them a little bit so they don't get really tangly when I start to brush. But the key with a wet set is brushing. You want to brush past the frizziness and you also want to put a little bit of wax on your hair before you start brushing and this will help to tame that frizziness. So I'm just using Suavecita's pomade and I'm just going to use a little bit on the top of the hair and run it a little bit through the hair and this will help to tame the fuzzy beast. So now I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just brushing through the curls and I'm brushing them under so that they do the, form this nice little group when they're brushed. And if you have any dents from the curlers, you can totally take a curling iron and just pull it through the top layers of the hair and that'll smooth the dents. The hair is basically starting to do itself. And the thing with 40s hair versus the 50s hair that I do, usually when I do 50s hair, I do with a big swoop on the top. They didn't really do that yet in the 40s. They, so they did do the down and the curly and most of everything similar, but they just didn't do that giant swoop. So instead, I'm just gonna sort of form the hair and this part of the hair in the front is separating really badly. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of teasing at the root just to make sure it sticks together. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray before I start forming it more. Now I'm gonna use this little smoothing comb and this will help it all stay together. See, now you can see my little widow's peak. And if you do have little side sweat bangs like I do, you're gonna So I'm gonna pin this part into place with just a little pin curl clip while I do everything else so it doesn't pull down on that. And then same thing, I'm gonna put a pin right here to hold this pretty little dent. And don't worry about this, you can smooth that once you take the pins out, no big deal. Or you can spray it now, whatever, no biggie. I'm actually gonna come back to this side and I'm just gonna give it sort of a last smooth over and tuck it behind my ear. And then I'm just gonna take a bobby pin and try to hide it, but just so it stays. I don't have a very like hair stay behind my ear ear. Some girls, their ears stick out a little bit more and it stays by itself, but mine doesn't. So I always need a little pin there to hold it. So now I'm just gonna come back over here and smooth everything down. And if you're getting these weird things, you can keep brushing. That's the beauty of a wet set, is that you can kind of brush it as much as you want and the curls are not gonna brush out. They're just gonna lay down and behave a little bit better. So I'm just gonna give this front section a last little spray and make sure everything is smoothed down. And as long as everything is smooth before you take those pins out, it'll be smooth when you take them out. So now you can take your pins out. Just be careful that you don't mess up the hair as you're taking them out. And you can use big duckbill clips for this too if you want. I just have pin curl clips right in front of me so I'm using those instead. And then this guy, still a little tweaky so I'm gonna take some wax and just wax them down. There we go. 
and then set them with some spray. So that is it. So easy. This is my 1940s inspired pillow roller wet set. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Hopefully you found it easy. You can do the same thing if you have long hair. It's just obviously going to fall a little bit longer, a little bit different. But you can pin it if you want to. I have a video showing you how to pin long hair to look like short hair. So you can use that technique on the same style if you would like. But um, I hope you guys love this. Definitely keep subscribing if you want to see more um, era specific hair and makeup tutorials. I'm going to be doing this whole new series coming up in the next few months. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.